I think I was out of jail 12 months before I come here, you know, and I was definitely heading back there again if I didn't do something. I'd accumulated $15,000 worth of state debt. And I was a 50-year-old man, retired drug addict, with absolutely no skills. Um, who was going to employ me? Who was going to give me a chance of having a go at life? Yeah, I think it's great, you know, like, um, for people that, um, you know, that, I don't know, they got caught up and they're, they're getting a fresh start, as, as I am, you know, a fresh start in life. I'm through today, you know. I'm free. I don't tell... I don't own any money, I don't know the government, nothing, and, and, and now I'm a tax-paying citizen. You know, I walked in the place and I had sort of no will and I had no hope, and, you know, I was that down and out. I, you know, I'd sort of done that to myself. Yeah, I did have a debt, something like 16000 I know it was a lot of pressure on myself. I was, you know, flat out at work and, and um, you know, and I just had a, a bit of a drinking problem that sort of got out of hand. <laughs> WDOs are a means by which clients who are affected in a whole bunch of different ways in terms of mental illness, cognitive impairment, homelessness, acute economic hardship, people that are having difficulties in their lives but also have a fines debt, a way that they can um, engage with programs that are to their benefit but also uh, clear their debts at the same time. You're actually able to address your debt by doing some simple volunteer work or some counselling or some drug and alcohol treatment and that helps you to address that debt. So during that time you become accountable for your previous behaviours. I've done anger management, I've done grief counselling, um, I've done uh, financial counselling, um, Hey Dad program, um, it just helps you to be a better father. Hey, Tom. Hey, Lisa. How, How are, you? are you? Good. With the work that our boys do for their WDO, they're really becoming work ready and they're finding an independence in themselves that they, they didn't know they had before. When I got this place and I was like so down and out and it just grew, you know, it sort of loved me back to life. You know, I got my spirit back. I got my, um, you know, my will, my will back, you know, I got my life back. And all in seven months, just all the tools and that I've learnt and, you know, just how to to live and how to think. You're welcome. This is a circuit breaker in a lot of ways uh, that allows them to um, to resolve their fines, get things back on track and um, and have a fresh start. Today I pay my rent and uh, buy my own food. I'm an active member of society and it's, it's the most beautiful thing. Mm.